Hi everyone, it's Shanita Rochelle, the teacher lady, coming to you again with another one of my weekly lessons on faith, family, friends, finances, and fun. Well, this week's scripture is going to be coming from 1 Samuel 16, 17, the New Living Translation. But the Lord said to Samuel, don't judge by his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. The Lord looks at the heart. Guys, this week, you all know that Monday was my birthday. So I was waiting on a box to come from my mother because she had told me she sent a gift box. Well, let me tell you about what happened to me. Hold on for this story. Well, on Wednesday, I checked the porch and there was a box out there, but I didn't open it right away. I brought it in the house and I set it in the living room and I never opened it. The next day, I went to go open the box and I tore a piece of the paper off and the front of the box read, Connolly, fully glazed, wasted, clogged outlet. So I'm like, what? Yeah. I'm thinking, okay, let me look at this again. It says, fewer clogs, less internal buildup. So I start shaking my head because the picture on the box was of a white toilet and this blue highlighted funnel that shows you the path to remove waste. So I said, now, I knew my mom ain't send me a colon cleansing machine for my birthday. So I called her. And she said, no, I didn't send that. That's not the gift that I sent you. She said, well, did you read the label? So who was from? So I went back and I said, oh, it's from my auntie. So then I asked my mom, did you tell her that I was having GI issues? Because I hadn't shared that with everyone. She said, no, I didn't tell her. I don't know what would make her buy you that. So I didn't call my aunt right away. I'm going to just tell you the truth. I waited about two days before I called her. Matter of fact, I didn't. I text her Saturday evening to say, because I was trying to figure out how I say thank you for the colon cleansing machine for my birthday. So I text her Saturday and I said, thank you, but I believe I got to get somebody to hook this up to my toilet. So then she called and we talked and she said, no, that's not the box I sent. I said, well, your name is on it. It says from you. And she said, no. Did you open the box? Aha, uh -huh. I ain't never opened the box. But once I seen the outside of the box, wasn't no sense in me opening it. Who's excited about receiving a colon cleansing machine? So no, I ain't never opened it. Well, I got back home and I opened the box. When I looked inside the box was this beautiful mirror. You see sitting behind me with the lady sitting on the porch and look like she's retired. I'm hoping to be retired one day. I don't know if the kids are going to let me out the school building, but one day I just want to sit on the porch and drink some lemonade and rock and just bask in the sunlight. And so this is the mirror that she sent me. I love it. If any of you know about ethnic expressions, this is an ethnic expressions piece. Love the mirror. So just think. I started thinking, what if you never opened the box? I would have missed out on this beautiful gift if I never looked inside of the box. So my question to you this week, friends and family, when you receive a gift, are you guilty of judging the box by its cover, by its size or shape? Well, as you can see, I am. Could you possibly be missing out on a blessing because of how things look on the outside, how a box is shaped, how the package came? Well, in life, we all make these mistakes, I believe, because I'm guilty of it on several occasions. Let's think about these instances. What about, are you afraid for applying to a job because it looks like it might be too much work? But you ain't even read the job description yet. So you don't even know the details that go along with the position. And ladies, hmm, are you guilty 
of judging a man by their financial status and the material items he may or may not have so you don't go out on a date with him? And you look at your girlfriend and say, Ugh, did you see his car? Well, did you ever look inside his heart? He might be the most loving and hardworking man you might ever want to meet. And you looking at the car he's driving right now. Who's to say he'll be driving that car two to three years from now? You don't know what he's working on. And you don't know what's inside his heart. And men, do you look at a woman by the way she's dressed and say, Ooh, she bad. I like her. I think I want to marry her. And you never find out if she's a God-fearing woman or can she cook and clean? Is she willing to go to work? Would she make a good helpmate? And I mean, really help you? These are some of the things we look over. How about for those of us who may be considering making a big purchase or have made big purchases before? When you go to buy a home, do you look at the exterior of the home? And say, well, that's not the color I want. I don't want to buy that house. And you never walk through it to check out the fixtures, the layout, the square footage. Or maybe check to see if the plumbing and the lighting works. Is there electricity running through this house? These are some of the things you need to do. Look inside of the home. Look at the heart of that home. We often do this. We judge people by what they're wearing when they walk in the church. When they come walk in the workplace, we look at them and we frown. I don't know what she dressed up for, coming to sit at this cubicle all day and answer phones. Well, you might be planning on staying in that cubicle for the next four or five years. But girlfriend got her eyes on the corner office. She coming in early. She staying late every day. Her current position on the outside of that cubicle may say clerk. But she got her eyes on chief executive officer. She plan on moving up. You don't know what's in her heart. So friends and family, as you go through this week, I want you to think about some of those instances, some of those real life situations we've encountered. And I want you to start looking inside the heart of the current situation. Look at the heart of that person. See what it looks like, sounds like, feels like get to know them get to know your co-workers get to know your friends the people that next door on another side of them not just how they dress not just from what they tell you get to see what's inside their heart and you need to do that before we start making these fast judgments because we're quick to judge and as you see god does not look at the outward appearance he look at what's in our hearts Thank you again, guys, for listening to another one of my life lessons. I hope that this was a blessing to you as it was to me. As you see, I got this beautiful mirror just because I opened the box and looked inside the box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed week, family.